So how do we implement it? We have two classes we're going to implement. We're going to implement one for the node, uh, which will be called tree node, and we're going to implement one that represents the entire tree, called the binary search tree. So the binary search tree will be the main class that's going to implement map eventually. Uh, but we're going to start out by looking at some simple things. We're going to implement a constructor. And so you're going to see that the binary search tree just has a root, which will actually point start out with none. It's eventually going to point to a tree node. And it'll have a size to keep track of how many things are in the tree. The length operator just returns the size. And this is the uh, method called length. And here's the actual length operator. This is how it's implementing the, uh, the operator inside of Python. So that just returns the size. And then we're also going to have an iterator, which allows us to step through all the nodes. And it's just going to call the iterator on the root. So root is, remember, a tree node. So we're going to implement an iterator on a specific node. And we'll look at the rest of the code later for this. OK, so here's the actual tree node. Uh, and we're going to look at quite a bit of uh, code in here, but all of it's fairly simple. Uh, the first part is the constructor. So a tree node has these values in it, a key, a payload, which is where we store the, the value. So we have a key value pair. Uh, then we have the left and right child for the, for the tree node. And we're also going to have a link pointing back up to the parent of whatever node we're at. Now the constructor itself, you only have to pass a key and a value. And these other are optional parameters, which will be used internally in tree uh, for copying a tree node uh, and duplicating the left, right, and parent. So that initially, they're all set to none. So if you just call it with key value, since these are named parameters, uh, and you leave them out, they'll all be set to none. And so the default case when you're making a new node will just be set to key value and the left and right child will be set to none, and the parent will be set to none. Uh, these next are all Boolean operators. Has a left child. We'll test if we have a left child. Now in Python, if something is not none, it's considered true. So this re just returns the, p the value of the left child for the current node. And so if it's not doesn't have a left child, that's going to return none, which will, this will evaluate the faults if it's used in an if statement. And if there is a left child, it's going to return that piece of data, which will then re uh, evaluate as true because it exists. So we have has left, has right, which is similar. Is left child, uh, if you have a parent node, so which f will be true for all nodes except for the root node. So if it's not the root node, and uh, the parent has a left child, and it's equal to this node, then that means this is a left child. So you may, may want to think about that. But that checks if this node is a left child of some node. This is going to do the same thing, check if it's a right child of a node. Uh, is root just checks if parent is none. So you, if your parent is none, that means you are the root node. So that just returns uh, basically true or false. Is leafed would mean you have no children. So it says if uh, return not that you have a right or a left child. So if you have a left or a right child, this expression becomes true and not reverses it. If you have any children, uh, you just have an or condition. So that checks if you have any children. And if you have both children, this will be true. So it returns an and condition. And the last thing we're going to cover right now is the, the replace node method, which will be used later. Well, basically, uh, given a node, it's going to replace all the values in the node. So it's going to replace the key, the value, the left, and the right child. The one thing it's not going to replace is the parent. Uh, so notice that uh, if the if you replace the a, a child under a node, then you also have to set the parent value of that child to this new node. So this checks if the if what you're uh, just put in here has a left child, then set the left child's parent to uh, self. So it's going to set a pointer up to here, and it does the equivalent thing of the right child.